Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another week of technology class. Um, I hope you're having fun in your specials classes. All of them are great science, music, art, PE. Um, really having a good time. Uh, so today we're going to use Canva to create social justice posters. So posters that can express an opinion or an idea um, to advocate for others in our community and show empathy for um, folks in our world that are going through tough times. Uh, this is especially important um, based off of what has gone on in the summer with the Black Lives Matter movement and with the fight for immigrant rights, which continues to go on. All right, uh, we'll see you in Canva. Let's do this. All right, first, boys and girls, welcome to the Confluence uh, Bitmoji Classroom. Here, you're going to be able to find a lot of the links that we've used already so far this year. Um, so here for our, you'll see our video for um, social justice posters in Canva. And you'll also over here, if you click on the beat machine, you can go to a, a really awesome website called Sampulator to make music. And then last week we worked on typing.com. So if you click here, it'll send you to typing.com so you can continue that journey. And also our weave silk. You can click there and it'll take you to weave silk and this is sand. I know y'all had a great time with that. Also, if I click right up here on um, this poster, it says, Am I Next? Black and Brown Unite. This is an example of an awesome social justice poster that um, students had made at McGlone in the past. If you click on that, it'll take you to our podcast website. So down here, you can check out the Voice of Montbello podcast. And here you can listen to any podcast you want. Um, and in this podcast, students from Montbello, um, from Maglone, advocate for folks in their community um, by creating a radio show. It's really awesome. So there are, there are tons of episodes that you can check out with featuring different students and different people that they've interviewed. And all you have to do is pick one and click play. All right, back to the lesson. Um, so you're going to click on the slides in your Seesaw, then click View Original. So you can use all of the links. Once that loads, I'm going to start by clicking Join our class in Canva.com. Then I click sign up with Google. And if you already have an account, it may ask you to just log in. And in that case, you would log in with Google. Click your name and you are in. Now you've joined our Confluence Center classroom so you can share your projects with everyone. Cool. So now, now that I've joined the Confluence Center classroom, um, if I go click on Confluence Center, um, I can see there's nothing in there yet. That'll change as more students add more designs and we'll be able to see everyone's cool design by the end. All right. So what I need to do first is create a design. Um, and this week we're creating posters. To get some ideas, I'm going to go back to my slides and in fifth grade they're reading a book called Esperanza Rising um, and so social justice posters connect to Esperanza Rising because um, you know es Esperanza was born in Mexico uh, her family immigrated to the to the U.S. and life changed for her like drastically so um, she becomes more empathetic to others as her family's family goes from wealthy landowners um, in Mexico to poor migrant workers in America. And she really um, learns about poverty and, and prejudice and discrimination um, and, and deportation. Those are issues that we still face today in, in our communities. Um, and so what can we do? Uh, many immigrants in our communities face similar challenges and are fighting peacefully for their human rights. And we can support them by using our voice, um, using our voice to speak out against injustices. So this week we're going to create artistic posters to support the immigrants in our lives using Canva. All 
All right, so here are some examples of immigrant rights uh, posters. Here's one for DACA, um, for college students, and um, just speaking out for reform for immigration. Now you can create your poster about Black Lives Matter. You can pick a different issue if you would like um, to take on and create a poster about. Um, this give, just gives you an idea of what immigrant rights posters look like. Then you pick a slogan, pick a slogan that supports your belief. It could be Black Lives Matter. It could be uh, no human is illegal or immigrants, we get the job done or abolish ICE. Um, uh, immigration is a human right. I know in fifth grade you are learning about the um, Declaration of Human Rights. And so this would fit in great. This would be a great time to create a poster to showcase what you were learning about in class. All right, so I think I have my idea. I wanna create a poster about Jeanette Vizquiera. She's one of my friends and she is she lives in fear of, of being deported. Um, so I wanna create a poster that supports her. I need to upload a photo. So up here over on the side, you can see your photos where you can search for different photos that Canva already has. They have a huge library, which is great. Um, but if I want to put it, put in my own, I need to go to uploads. Cool. And here you can see images that I've uploaded over time. Um, I have quite a few. What I can do is open up a new tab and then search for um, the image that I want to use. So I'm going to put Jeanette. Please get out. And yeah, my favorite image of her is this one. Um, so if I click down here to images, then I can see all different pictures of Jeanette. And now I use two fingers to click or right click, and then I can say save image as. Cool. I save it to my computer. And now I can go back to Canva, make sure that I'm still on uploads. And then I upload an image. Then you can upload from Google Drive or wherever you saved your photo. Okay. If uploading an image is, is a little tough and we're not able to figure it out, you can then go just go down to photos and you can search any photo that you want. So family basketball. Cool. Or if I want from my social justice poster a fist. Black. So I can use any of these fists for my social justice poster. Cool. All right. So let's go back to uploads. There's my picture, and all I need to do is click and drag it into my poster. There we go. All right. I'm going to show you something else that you can do as well, which is really fun. The first link is templates. I can start with a template that already has a cool design that I might want to use. And it'll give me a bunch of ideas for really cool um, posters. Here's one, no no bullies are allowed here. That's a cool that's a cool poster to advocate for others. Let's see, I think I I think I like this style. So I'm gonna click there. Cool. I like it because it has the words up top. I can erase them and change them the way I want. And I can go back to uploads. And if I click and drag my picture of Jeanette, I can put her picture in the poster. That looks really nice. That looks really nice. Cool. So now that I have my template, I can change all of these words. All I have to do is double click and then I can erase and type in what I want to say. So Jeanette has been taking sanctuary inside a church and she goes out, um, she leaves the church every once in a while, but she's been there for um, almost two years now. And so Jeanette, what sanctuary means is um, there's a group called ICE, which is, um, they enforce immigration and they've been looking for her. They've been trying to uh, deport her. 
but she doesn't want to be separated from her kids. Her, her, she has three kids that um, were born in the United States, and she doesn't want to be separated from them. So Jeanette is ta taking sanctuary inside a church, and um, ICE cannot go inside schools or churches um, because they are sanctuaries. I have my slogan. It says, Free Jeanette. And down here, there's more words. Um, I don't think I want to add any other words to my poster. I think I like it the way it is. I could use this to add more information. Um, but right now, I feel like I'm, I like the way it is. And if I click delete or backspace, it'll delete those boxes. And now, it looks like my there's a lot of space for my words. So I can put them down here. And I can even make them bigger. To make my box bigger, I just click on the sides, on the corners. I'm going to show you one last tool you can use to um, really take this poster to the next level. You can use effects. So these effects are awesome. Now notice automatically this rainbow color comes up. That is probably my favorite. Um, but it'll give you a preview of all these effects to over here that you can use to change the color of your um, of your image. It's like a filter. Okay. So, oh man, this one, that's the one. Yeah, let's go. All right, I love that. All right, free Jeanette. Cool. And if you want to add any more text down here on the side, you can click the T and there's different types of textiles that you can use all right and all you have to do to add one of these textiles is click on it and drag it into your into your image and there it'll be and then right now it says level up i don't really like that so let's say and that that actually looks really cool and then if you don't like it you can delete it i do that all the time i add things in I figure oh, I don't really like it and I take it out. You can, it's fun. So explore, have a great time making your poster. When you're done making your poster, go right up here and click share. Then it says the Confluence Center, TC. The eyeballs crossed out. That means that students in the Confluence Center can't see my work. So what I want to do is change that. I want them to be able to view. Okay. If you click edit, then your friends can go in and work on your poster and help you out with it. But if you just want them to look at it and you're just working on it on your own, then click the eyeball so that they can see. Now, if I want to upload my poster to Seesaw so everyone can see it, I click this down arrow, this to download. And instead of a PDF, I just click JPEG. JPG and then click download. Click add response. And then I can upload. And easiest way is to go from Google Drive. It should be the first, should be the first item. But I might wanna might want to record a video or a voice recording explaining why I made this poster. Okay. And click the checkbox. And you're, and you're done. You created an awesome poster to show advocacy and advocate for folks in our community that are being discriminated against or are facing injustice. All right. Have fun with this, boys and girls. Take on the challenge of Canva and enjoy.